Hello friends, welcome back to session number two of our ITP integration with any point platform series. So here I'm going to show you a fresh setup with Okta and Inti, you know, any point platform integration. So for that, okay, so we are going to talk about this Okta and this any point platform integration, okay, in this session. So I have created fresh account, fresh trial account from the any point platform and fresh Okta accounts, you know. So let's go ahead and log into our any point platform first and I will show you. So you can see that I'm logging to my AnyPoint platform. Let's go to the access management where we see the IDP integration. So IDP providers right now. So you can see that our AnyPoint platform supports the OpenID Connect and SAML 2.0. And we can add multiple identity provider now. Okay. So right now you see that uh, we have only identity provider, which is our AnyPoint platform itself. Now we'll integrate here the Okta. So let's log into the Okta first. Let's log into the Okta. So I logged into my Okta with my GitHub account. So now let's see. So now we are logged into our Okta. Now let's create the application first so let's go to the application here inside under the application there is application option create new app integration and select xml based open standard for SO, sso that is our saml 2.0 okay the next now give a name so we'll give a proper name here so let's say now i'm giving any point platform SAML 2.0, okay? And you can upload the logo also here. If you have, you know, uh, you know, news of logo, you can go ahead and upload it too. So yeah, click on next. Now here, we'll give a simple a URL, okay? So later we'll, we'll, uh, we'll update this URL, okay? So single sign on URL right now we give. So I have a dummy URL, I just give this here. Later we'll update this. Okay. Now let's go back. So now we need to get the organization ID. Okay, so how to get the organization ID? If you go here, directly if you go to your any point platform here is the work. This, this is the one way to get the organization ID. This one is your organization ID. Get it. And I'll show you how to. We need that. Okay, so control B. And I build a URL. Something like this. Okay, so this is your. and paste this URL in the audience URL in the Okta. So let me copy this. So this becomes your audience URL. Come back here, this section. So this URL will later we'll change it, okay? Once our configuration is done in any point platform, so we'll get one URL, that URL will be replaced here, okay? So for the setup now, I'm just putting the dummy URL over here. And this is the correct URL, which is the, our any point platform, Group ID dot any point dot means of dot com. Okay. Now we'll keep the whatever default here. In attribute section, we'll fix some attributes. So here, so this will be a first name. Okay. And this side, we'll be giving our user properties which are. First name. So these properties will be, you know, getting compared with the AnyPoint platform properties. So okay. there also we we'll configure this first name, last name, and email. So these are the minimum requirement we need. So here I'll pass 
last name user dot last name so right side values are our octa and the left hand side these are from the any point platform okay so last name one more thing i'll add it which is my email okay and i'll just say user dot email okay so these three things minimum things we need so first name last name email hope i'm giving correct spellings Check. yes correct okay so let's click on next i'm not going to pass group information right now because uh, you know first we'll go with the minimal with the zero uh, permissions to the user okay so let's go ahead and say next okay i am octa customer adding an internal app and this is internal app that we have created and click on finish okay now just click on view setup instructions okay so from here we'll get a lot of information okay so you see here these are the information we need for setup inside what we can do either you can copy these values or we can create this idp metadata we can download this and create you can copy this and create a let's say control v and i'll make this as a xml file and i'll save it as you know i'll save it on the so, so this is actually idp metadata we can use directly this metadata and with this octa idp hyphen metadata okay and set so it is xm idp okay save it i show you where where this file is used okay so let's go back to our yeah so this is the information we need to configure inside the Anypoint platform. Let's go ahead now to the Anypoint platform. So log into our Anypoint platform now. We are already logged in. Go to access management now. So we need to do configuration with our admin account only, okay? And this configuration IDP provider is available inside your master business group only. Let's go to the identity provider now. So we are going to use SAML 2.0 as a protocol. Go ahead. Now here, import IDP metadata file. We can select just now we have created one file, right? So not this one. I'll just go to my top directory. So here, where is my IDP provider? So my IDP provider. Select this file. Select. The moment you select this file, all the your uh, necessary values will be auto populated you can see that okay okay now i'll give a name over here so i'll just say SAML IDP with Octa and in the sign off URL, sign in URL. We can use sign off URL as our any point platform. Simple uh, this, this URL, okay? This for sign off URL. And here the automatically public key which was generated here here this is copied properly other uh, urls are auto populated since i use the idp metadata file okay now we can keep this blank okay so leave this blank to use all this stuff now here in audience we have built one url let's copy that url from here so the same url which we have given in the octa the same URL will be providing here also. So 
not this one. So here and here. And now here we are seeing that okay, give both options, opt options also for logging in. So in the first session, you have, you have seen right when I click the opt or login URL, I got both options login with the, our platform credentials as well as login with the SAML opt. Okay, so if I select this both option, that pop up will be coming over there. Now I can keep all these things blank. Uh, okay. And as the save changes. Okay. Now, let's go back because remember we have, if I go to applications. So this is the application we have created right now. General. You notice this URL we have, you know, uh, added over here like a dummy URL. Now we need to update this URL with the actual URL which we generated over here. See now, a session consumer service. This is ACS URL. Copy it. Go to Octa. Edit it. Next. And control it. Control it. Okay, tap. So I think this is not capital. This has to be small case, first name, last name. And these are the properties from any point platform. These are the property from our Okta. Okay, so now next, finish. Okay, so that's the setup from our, the AnyPoint platform and from the Okta, okay? So last thing, what we'll do is, we'll go ahead and try to access our, so we have edited our SS URL also. Now let's go ahead and get the URL for the login. So if you go here, Go back to the ID provider, ID provider. And in the previous session also, if you remember, we took this URL to log into any point platform using Okta. So now let's log off first from here. Hope I have copied that URL. Yes. So now see, you can see that these two options are coming from that the uh, you know radio button we have selected as a both right so that because of both we are getting both options here i can log in with my platform credentials as well as i can log in proceed with the login uh, my octa okay so i'll go ahead and proceed with the octa login so right now you can see that the app not assigned okay so this is intentionally i did it to show you that in octa we need to assign this application to the user okay so let's go ahead first and assign, go to assignment here, and then say assign people and assign this user, okay? Assign this user and just save and go back, okay, done. Now this user is assigned to my application. Now if I refresh it, okay, let's refresh it. Now you can see that it's logged into my AnyPoint platform. And now you see the user, got changed and this user is coming just now we have created this user right now if you go to the user list let me go and right now this guy doesn't have access to this is this user is having zero access okay he this guy cannot go and do any activity here. see if i click api manager also it will say unauthorized see now what i need to do i need to go login with my platform credentials let me sign out this and there you'll see that new users new user got created okay so i'll just say i logged in or oh, not this one this is not my new fresh account i have created is okay
Okay, I logged in and this is my admin account. Here I have access to my access management. If I go here now, if you go to the users, you'll see new user got created here the moment I logged into my AnyPoint platform via Okta. So this is the user and this user doesn't have any permissions. We can see that, okay? So let's go to this user. Right now, this guy doesn't have any permission. So let's give, okay, some permission over here. Let's say I'll give the permission to the API manager. Okay, let's go ahead and I'll just select all permissions. Okay. We can explore the Teams feature also in the try new feature. There we can create a team and then we can assign this user to that team itself. And the team will be having some default permissions. Okay, so that also we can do that. But right now, let's go ahead and do this. So yeah, plus permissions are added. API group administrator. And let me check. Some runtime manager also permissions will give. Select all, add. So now this guy has design. Select all plus. No sandbox. Select all. Okay, so now this user has all almost runtime manager and the API manager permission. So I log off from here. So before that, I need to copy that URL from IDP provider so that I can show you. This is the URL you need. Maybe I can copy this in my notepad. Control P. So sign up from here. Not this that URL is here. I'm an IDP opta. This guy has API manager and runtime manager access. Let's see whether he is able to access or not. See now. So the users which are created from Okta or from Azure AD, they won't be having any access when they log in first time. So your admin user or our admin account, whoever is owning that platform, they will be assigning that user to proper team or they will be assigning, you know proper role to that user. And based on that permission set, they'll be able to access any one platform, okay? So that's all from this session. In the next session, I'll show you how to integrate our Azure ID step by step, okay? Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel, please hit the bell icon and like the video. Thanks.